Hey guys, it's Reviews and More, and today we're going to do a quick Gotham steel pan recipe, and this is how to make really, really, really nice hash browns. So, without further ado, here we go. So, first things first, you're going to have to have some way to shred the hash browns. You can use a cheese grater with the right size holes, or if you have like something like this, a little rotary shredder that you can use. They make these electronic, they make them like a uh, uh, handheld models, or you can again just use a standard cheese grater and that'll basically give you the same effect get all the little strings of potato out and then you can start cooking but first you gotta do the one thing that helps make your hash browns extra crispy and that is by using this right here it's called cheesecloth sometimes used wrapped turkeys but the main thing we use it for is getting out all the excess liquid because potatoes are extremely wet and if you don't get out the excess liquid in these hash brown shreds it will make your hash browns very soggy even if you cook them for a nice long time what you'll end up with is like almost burned hash browns that are soggy in the middle and it's because of all this excess liquid you see currently coming out of the cheesecloth you can usually get cheesecloth pretty cheap this is like some organic unbleached cheesecloth that I've been using it for a little while and it works great and it doesn't tend to break um, and you can wring out a lot of the excess liquid just like right which you see right here next obviously you cook it so you want to spray down the pan with some Pam or if you just want to use vegetable oil I would recommend using vegetable oil because if you use butter butter can actually make it soggy as well whereas oil will make it nice and crispy and will not make the shreds soggy so make sure you spread it out with a little uh, rubber spatula this is again the Gotham steel pan being used and even though it advertises being usable without oil, you want to use oil here so it'll fry up nicely because essentially hash browns are a fried food whether you like it or not. This is how you make them. And you're going to let that basically cook on medium high heat for maybe top end five minutes. But really, it's a, uh, I use the smell test. Once you start smelling the smell of cooked, almost like I'm not say burnt, but cooked hash browns, that's when you know it's basically ready to be flipped usually between three and five minutes is as far as you want to go depending on how high you got the heat or how your stove operates but i use glass stop stove here obviously this is going to take some back and forth honing in the timing all right now once you get this thing set up and it's kind of sliding around just like that you kind of know one side's done and not sticking and wet anymore then you basically know you can now flip the actual um hash browns and now you'll see me flip this if you're not confident do this over the sink like i normally do but for the sake of the video i did this over top of my stove top and there you go a little flip and get the crap out of the way you do a little quick flip of the wrist and over it goes not perfect but good enough but you'll see that nice golden brown color that's what you're going for crispy hot on the inside and you're going to cook the other side the exact same way you cook the front although it won't take quite as long probably three minutes tops and then you'll be basically good to go once you slide it out into a plate, it should look something like this, and I'm ready to go, top it. I usually throw onions into mine, and this is kind of how it just turns out. So if you want something close to like Waffle House as far as crispiness, again, the key thing is getting out all that moisture with something like a cheesecloth like you saw in this video. And from there, that's all there is to it. Very yummy, yummy hash browns. Add salt, pepper to taste. Hash browns are fun just because you can add whatever you want to them. Nothing really happens. I usually do bacon, cheese, all kinds of other fun stuff, and you know, smothered and covered always nice waffle house style so thanks for watching guys i hope you found this video helpful gotham steel makes a good product and it's pretty good overall i'm pretty happy with it again that pan you just saw is over two years old at this point so it's lasted a while as long as you don't sit there and wash it over and over and over again you should be fine it makes a good product